Hello, and welcome to my Problem Set 8 um, CS51 video. Uh, let's dive right in. So here on the right, you can see I've concocted a rather nasty virus, a um, couple key characteristics. Um, the infected infectiousness, <laughs> 0 0.4, the incremental probability that someone is infected uh, by a nearby person. Um, down here, the recovery period is relatively long. There's plenty of time there for infected people to um, infect those around them. Um, and the immunity period, the amount of time that somebody is immune after they recover, is relatively low compared to the recovery period. Um, and the mortality rate is 4 in 100, um, which is you know, kind of high. That's 1 in every 25 people. So here, let's check out what happens. Um, yeah. Um, not doesn't look like the most fun virus to encounter. Um, you can see a big spike at the beginning and um, almost almost a couple hundred people dead by, by the end of the simulation. Um, so let's see what we can do. Um, the first thing is uh, I've implemented a, a masked property. So this is the probability that you know our population wears masks. Um, so let's say um, we've got an obedient population, um, excellent communication from the government um, on the importance of wearing masks, and so we've got 90% of our citizens wearing masks on the regular. Um, let's check this out. So we can see there's um, not as large of a spike at the beginning, um, but the virus is still present, still there, uh, and still making great headway, lots of people infected, um, you know, people dying. Um, so, there's, you know, there's plenty more to be done. So the next thing we're going to do is implement a, uh, a crude, rather crude quarantine system where um, everybody who's infected is just going to stop moving. <laughs> so they'll get infected, they'll stay at home, they'll work from home, you know, not go off to college um, and stay home studying remotely for two semesters. Um, Uh, let's see. Let's see how this. Let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, pretty pretty excellent. So you can see the infected people are staying home, um, but definitely the virus is is still kind of there, right? You know, it's still present in the population. It's still growing and as time increases. Um, and so the last thing we're going to do is increase the amount of physical distancing by decreasing the distance that an infected person can infect somebody else. So we're going to just change this to, to two blocks. Um, and let's see how this affects our simulation. Yep, the virus is under control. Um, you can see that not many people are infected, very few people dead. Most people never encounter the virus at all. Um, and so from this simulation, we can see that um, wearing masks, quarantining, and uh, physical distancing are extremely effective at stopping the spread of, of at least this virus. Um, and so, uh, yeah, those, those are the recommendations that I've got for, uh, I don't know, the US government or something. <laughs> um, so, yes, th thank you for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day. Don't forget to, to smash that like button and to subscribe. <laughs> and um, we'll see you in the next one.